to the survivors a short time ago here. I sat down with a group of brave students here describing seeing the gunmen in the hallway trying to find a classroom to hide in. And in so many cases, the doors were already locked. People were already huddled on the inside. But when they did make it to a classroom, so many hiding in the closet telling me about the text messages they sent their parents. What was the first sign that, that you all knew something was going wrong? It was the second fire drill of the day. Yeah. And we don't have yeah. two fire we drills like ever. So you had gone outside the building because mm -hmm. of the alarm. Yeah. Which was the second of the day. Yeah. And then you run back into the building. Yeah, we heard gunshots and they told us to run back. We locked the door. We took in some kids that weren't in our class and we all hid in a corner. Lights were off like we practiced. As you were huddled in the corner of that room, what were you all doing? Staying silent, texting our parents. Yeah. What were you texting them? Saying that we're on lockdown and like I love them. I can only imagine what the texts back were. Did your parents text you back? Mm -hmm. What'd they say? Stay safe. And that's when you knew the whole thing was real. Jonathan Blank was in a classroom on the first floor. The gunman began to fire into the room. You can see his shoes there in this video captured during the chaos. I went under a desk. Um, we stayed there. I was laying down. Um, four kids in my class, they got shot. Um, two of them, I believe, passed away. Um, I saw them on the ground after they were shot. There was blood everywhere, and it was just horrible. And that video that we've now all seen, you're actually, you can see your shoes, right? Yes. Then I was laying down, trying to just get as far away from the door, like hide as possible, and just take cover. We didn't know what was going on. Kids were bleeding out everywhere, and we didn't know what to do with them. And finally, the cops, we hear them screaming. Um, we had to put our hands up. They came in with assault rifles, um, pointing them to make sure that no one, the shooter wasn't in our class. And they directed us to line up and they said, just make a right out of this class and run as fast as you can to the street and get away. And as I was making the right turn out of the class, I saw two kids laying in the middle of the hallway, um, dead. They were just dead. Two more kids. Yes, two, two kids that just weren't in my class. Mackenzie Hill had gone to a restroom on the second floor, leaving behind her twin sister in the classroom. Mackenzie would see the gunman down the hall. She had no choice but to run into another room. She sent a text to her twin. So when we get in the classroom, we were just sitting down and I had contact with my sister. And then... She would only learn later that her twin had survived. Jaden Bear, a junior, told us about hiding in a classroom closet. She texted her mom. I just said, Mom, like, I love you so much, and I think I'm going to die. How many of you know someone who did not get out alive? Really? So all of you knew someone? We had a friend, not until like 2 AM last night, that it was confirmed. She then shows me a picture of her friend, Joaquin. And then the other students begin pulling out their phones, the pictures of the friends they lost. Jonathan shows me Nick Dwarren. This is my classmate, Nick. He was actually gonna, he was on the national team for swimming. He committed to the University of Indianapolis a couple, like two weeks before this happened. Great classmate, great person, always so nice. How terrifying was the whole thing? It was the most scariest moment of my life. I've never experienced anything like that. And I'm sure you think now about all the other shootings too in this country. Yeah, like you never think it'll happen to you and like to your school until it really does and it just doesn't feel real. And our entire team will not forget that moment inside that house when we asked how many of you know someone who was lost. They all raised their hand and then began pulling out their phones with pictures of the friends they won't see again. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.